Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new feature in Tableau Prep that basically suggests steps for new users who are opening up Tableau Prep for the first time. In order to do this, I'm going to open up the data pane here on the left hand side, and then I'm going to click on the sample flow here on the bottom left. Once in, I'm also going to delete everything in the view. I need to just make sure that I'm starting with a fresh Tableau Prep workflow. The reason I open that flow though is because I want these data sources available to me. I'm going to go ahead and click on the orders table here, and then I'm going to drag in the orders table. And what you'll see is that you get this suggested step to view and clean data. And so what you can do is you can just click on it and it actually goes ahead and brings that step in for you. Now at this moment, it doesn't yet suggest those changes here on the left hand side, it doesn't apply them, but you've always got the capability to click on the recommendations and see some of the suggestions it's suggesting. So for example, I can change the data role to city, the city. If I click on that, it'll actually go ahead and specify that. And what that will do is when you export this to example, um, when you export this, for example, to Tableau, it actually gives it a little bit of intelligence about what that field is doing. Okay. So that's pretty much the feature in a nutshell. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be working for subsequent steps. So for example, if I wanted to go to the next step here, it's not suggesting anything like pivots, joins, or custom splits just yet but I assume this is functionality that might be added in the future. But again, it's just a nice way of allowing users who are dragging in data sources for the first time, I just drag the connection rather than the data source there, um, it allows users who are dragging in connections for the first time just to get that little bit of a helping start, just so that they're not sort of unfamiliar with how things work. Um, I would personally prefer if they actually showed you how to add all the different tools, so by clicking on the plus icon. But of course, if, if you're a new user, you've likely watched the video, um, and you know roughly how to find these options just by clicking the plus icon. It's a fairly simple interface to use as it is. But that's pretty much it. There's not much to the feature. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.